What's going on guys? In today's quick review, we're going to be talking about Reef Nutrition's Oyster Feast. Let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, we are going to be talking about Oyster Feast in this video. I'm going to explain why I use it and how much I use it. In my current tank, I feed it once a day. Usually I do a little bit more than a teaspoon in my 75 gallon. I feed quite heavily, but thanks to my clear water scrubber, it makes it a little more easier to feed a little more heavy. Um, which is nice, because corals like to eat, obviously. Uh, I feed oyster feast to a broad spectrum of corals. Um, I, I feed it to like soft corals like Kenya trees, pom pom zinnia. I mean, a lot of that stuff doesn't need to be fed, per se, uh, but I like to feed my corals personally, because I used to keep an NPS tank. I still have a little NPS tank that I kind of got going again. So excited to show it off tonight. Um, this is Thursday. April, I don't even remember. I've lost track of the days. Uh, but I'm going to reveal that tonight. This video is going to be uploaded a day after I reveal that tank. And I'm super excited because I've been working on getting that tank to where it is right now for months. Like, ever since I've been down here, this has pretty much been what my goal was for the tank. And I finally achieved it. And I'm so excited. With that said, we're going to jump back into this. This is supposed to be a quick review and I'm kind of going slow. So, uh, this thing is jam-packed. Ovarian tissue, oyster eggs, super concentrated. I don't recommend just going in and dumping a whole gob of it in your tank. It'll be fine, but I do not recommend it. I used to do that all the time with my NPS tank. I measure out a lot, and I'm not even gonna say how much because I I fed that tank like crazy. I'll show a picture of it here real quick. Um, I miss that tank a lot. I got a little one, kind of local. It's more of a local tank. Uh, we got a lot of NPS up this way. Sorry. We got a lot of NPS up this way, so it's kind of what I did with this tank, a local NPS tank for say. Um, with that said, back to this. Oyster Feast, super good for all your corals. SPS, LPS, softies. Like I said, I feed it to my NPS corals as well. I did notice very, very good success with the carnation corals. Here's one right there. Uh, I had a few carnation corals for over a couple years, and then I ended up moving, and I lost them in the move, which was a bummer. Things happen. Um, not really planning on keeping a carnation coral anytime soon, possibly in the future, once I figure out something else. But right now, got a frag tank. We got the tank I'm showing off tonight, later this evening, after I finish editing this video. Caribbean tank, and then we got a couple fresh water tanks that are running well. So, excuse me, back to this. I get sidetracked all the time. This stuff is insane. It stays in suspension in the water column for such a long time. It's amazing. It's actually one of my opening feeds. For say, if I'm going to feed this little NPS tank back here, I dump a little bit of this in there because it, I don't know, I don't even know why. It's just like the, it's like the coral sense that there's something in the water column. I can do this with the other products and they, they open up, but with Oyster Feast, it's insane. Like you put this in the water column and the polyps on almost every coral I ever had in my NPS tank and like my Caribbean tank and stuff open up. Like the my neglect of mushrooms will start closing, my recordias like get big and bushy. I mean it's insane. I've never seen any type of feeding response like that. And if you go back, I got a few other videos showing like me feeding my old NPS tank. That's some of the best footage that I've ever been able to get. And it's just amazing. Um, the corals eating this stuff. And it's super small and there's actually a couple larger chunks in there as well. So it kind of, it, like I said, it feeds a broad spectrum of corals and it's really amazing. And I definitely recommend this for your tank. Uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than I'll be more than happy to reach out to you and uh, help you out with your questions, or reach out to Reef Nutrition or check out the new website for more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.